What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the new feature in Movie Studio 15, Picture in Picture. Now first thing I want to point out that this will work with videos or images. Now I want to be showing it you with both even though it's the same way, I just want to show you that it does work with images as well. So the first thing, I'm just going to duplicate this video simply because it's the only video I have. And now this is in position, so we have two video tracks, two of the same videos. The next thing you want to do is head over to video effects. If you don't see it, what you want to do is head over to view. Then you want to head over to window and from window, you want to make sure video effects is selected. Now scroll down until you see the new feature, which of course is picture in picture, which is right here. So you would select picture in picture. Now by default, we have these ones set out for us. Now the one labeled face cam, you won't have. That's just a template I have made, which I will get onto a little later on. You can test out one, but I always recommend dragging on the default and we're dragging it onto the top track. As you can see, we now have access to this video. We can now freely move it as well. First thing I'm going to be doing is not using this. However, in order to edit this part on the screen, we need to leave it open. So first of all, I'm going to size it down by coming to a corner and we should see this right here and I'm just going to drag it in. You can see that's changed the size of it. I'm then going to drag it to a place I like it and I'm going to put it at the top right. Now, believe it or not, it's done. So I can play it through from the beginning. As you can see, both of them are playing. Just like that. Now there's a bit more you can do with picture in picture and that is of course involves a bit of keyframing. Now keyframing is really simple. For example, we can uh, keyframe the location and we can keyframe the scale. Scale meaning the size of the video itself. So what I can do is toggle the animation on the scale. Now on this very first keyframe we're going to be selected and then I also recommend have sync cursor to media timeline highlighted. It's quite important you have that. Then what I'm going to do for the very first keyframe is turn the scale. You can see I can't go any more than that. So I'm just going to manually type in zero. So it's literally nothing. I'm then going to come across my timeline to five or six seconds and I'm going to bring up the scale. So I'm going to type here manually and I'll put uh, 0 0.250. You can see there's the video. Then what we have done is made the video zoom in a sort of animation. So it starts off like that and it will end up like this. So I can play it through from the beginning. It's going to take nearly six seconds to do this effect. As you can see, that is how it will look. So that's how you animate with scale and you can animate location and scale at the same time, which I will also show you now. So I'm going to then toggle the animation on location. I'm going to drag this up so we can see both keyframes. You can see we now get Y and X axis. Now you really don't need to worry about uh, individual ones unless of course you need to. But this time what we're going to be doing is co again coming to the first keyframe. I'm going to leave it here but once it's enlarged I want it at the top left. So I'm going to select this keyframe again because I want it to all happen at the same time and I'm simply going to drag this across to the top left. You can see keyframe has been added for the X and Y location. So now what we're going to be doing, it's going to start off at the top right. As it enlarges, it's also going to move to the top left. So I'll play it through. And as you can see, that is what we get. Now there's one more way that I will be showing you because what I've just shown you is how to add it onto a video clip. Now let's say you have edited all of your video and there's all split up into different sections. That would mean you have to drag, drop, drag, drop onto each one. So what I'm going to do is come to the event effects and delete this plugin from this part. As you can see, we now have our video back to normal. And like I mentioned the scenario, let's say you split a lot of parts. What you can do is add it onto the actual track itself. Meaning you only have to do it once and not to each individual clip you've split. So I want to drag and drop on the default onto the track itself right here. Then I can size it down. I can position it. And now anything that is on this track will be positioned up here. So for example, I can press control C, control V. As you can see, it's also up there. I'm then also going to drag in an image. Like I said, I would prove that it's working with images. So drag drop. As you can see, the image has also appeared here. Bear in mind, if the resolution is different compared to this image, then it will come out a bit different. 
But just like that, that is how you use picture-in-picture -in, -picture in Movie Studio 15. <laughs>